If you game on PC, you may know that there are a ton of launchers now. You've got Steam, Epic, Battle.net, Origin, Ubisoft, Xbox. It's really annoying to have all those different launchers and to have to figure out sometimes which game is in which launcher. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you can try to consolidate all of that to try to make launching a game much more convenient for you and you know just make the whole process a little bit smoother that's why today we're going to go over how i use gog galaxy to consolidate all of my launchers into one into a really really nice ui a really great package i've been using this quite a bit i've been using it really ever since it came out sometimes i'll stop using it for a little bit because there's a little bit of a bug or what have you but it is a really really cool ui and it's got a bunch of awesome extra features. And we'll talk about GOG Galaxy after thanking our sponsor, Owned. Owned Pro is a plugin for OBS Studio that allows you to start streaming in seconds. It includes overlays, stream event lists, stream labels, chatbot, copyright free music and you can join for free or you can add the pro plan which gives you over 410 premium overlays and alerts and 24 7 customer service support so if you want to sign up now and get access to all of these great features go ahead and click the link down in the description below and you can use code CADEC for 50 percent off a yearly subscription so gog galaxy has been around for a few years it is run by the gog store who is in part owned by cd project red and it is an awesome tool that allows you to consolidate not only your games but also your friends all in one area which is really cool they have a bunch of extra features like uh, combined stats so say you play rainbow six siege on your xbox your playstation and your pc it'll actually combine all those hours together um, and achievements and stuff like that to show you the overall statistic, which is really nice. The main important feature, however, is the ability to launch all of your games from one platform, which is really, really nice. It does launch games through their launchers, but the nice thing is you can just have GOG launch at Windows Startup and then launch your games through there and it'll launch the appropriate launcher and launch your game. And you can actually have a setting that'll close the launcher after the game is closed so it's really nice it kind of manages all that for you another great benefit of the gog launcher is the fact that it consolidates all your friends so you can see who's online on which platform i wish more of my friends used gog galaxy itself which is one of the reasons why i'm making this video and they've also got a lot of really cool upcoming features that they plan to implement like the game discovery which allows you to kind of track upcoming games get news about them, their upcoming release dates and such. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what my GOG Galaxy looks like, and this is it. I have it automatically open to my recents. That'll show all of the recent games that I've played. It also shows the recent games that my friends have played. Um, here you can see my Xbox friends. And if we go up to the cog wheel here, let me go to settings, if we go to integrations, you can see all of my integrations uh with the platforms and as of right now only the xbox friends show up and that's because these integrations are community based and because they're community based they don't have the full api but xbox and epic however are natively supported and officially integrated within gog galaxy so you're able to see your friends They've mentioned that hopefully over time, they're gonna have more official integra integrations with all these other launchers. Hopefully that happens. Um, but the friends feature is something I use the least, so I'm not too worried about it. It does still allow you to import all of your games, however. As I mentioned, you can have it set up so that it quits the launchers after you quit the games. So this in the feature section, that's where you would actually set that up so that it automatically quits all those launchers and closes them um, after you close the game that you launched with them. Another awesome feature is that you can create your own kind of filters just like how you can do on Steam and you can organize everything on the left hand side here. So I have these organized based on launcher and based on my installed. So installed is going to be the important one for me. Um, this is where all of my installed games are. It's super handy. You can control all of the columns. You can see how large some games are on your disc. 
so that if you do want to um, start uninstalling some games, you know, maybe there's a couple games you don't play anymore. Like for me, I can probably uninstall Call of Duty because I basically never play that anymore. Um, this is a really good way to see how everything is taking up space on your drives. But as you can see over on this right hand side, it actually shows me which platforms I, I own the games on. And the really nice thing about that is it'll combine all of those hours together. So if I want to get really sad, I can go ahead and sort games by hours. You can see Skyrim, I have maybe a few too many hours. But Rocket League, I have it across three different platforms and I have 845 hours. Now if I open that up, you can go ahead and I can see my game time. It'll show me all of the achievements that I have. It compares me to my other GOG friends. And you know, you get a lot of really cool information this way. Now, if you pay attention to my Twitter, I actually posted my full stats by clicking the share stats button here. And it goes ahead and shows all of the games that I own across all my platforms, the, the amount of achievements I have, and the sad amount of hours I have across everything as well. But yeah, it's a really straightforward platform. It's very, very easy to set up. I really do enjoy it for helping me launch games. They've also mentioned the plans to implement more stores so that you can buy from other stores through this platform, which would be really awesome as well. They have been a little bit slower on updates, but I've been really enjoying it so far. Now, there are a few other options like Play Night and Launchbox. If you guys would like, I do plan on making a video comparing the three. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like to watch. But yeah, pretty straightforward. GOG Galaxy is an awesome tool, really helps minimize the amount of launchers I need to have open at any time. Um, it automatically closes things after, so I really don't have to have a bunch of them open in my taskbar, which is really nice. If you ended up finding this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below, and I will try to get back to them as quickly as possible. If you want to catch me on Twitch, I'll leave the link down in the description below. You can come hop in the chat, say hello. If you want to ask any questions, you're more than welcome to ask them there as well. And thanks again for watching the end of the video. Thanks again to my patron, my one and only patron, Step Back. Thank you very much. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.